Let's see if we get any treasures today. So it's a Thursday. There is stuff in here. They usually come twice a week. So sort of midweek and Sunday. First of all, golf club. Don't know if it's anything special. But as always, we will take it and research it later. What else have we got? This board thing. Like an erasable whiteboard kind of thing. Crayola. Take that. If it's not worth anything, it'll be worth car boot. Cluedo. Can't guarantee it's complete. Doll. Uh, Harry Potter game. My wife's into Harry Potter, so I'll take that. So it might be complete, might not. Some weird bowl. Unicorn Pong. To print pencil case thing, I'll take them for car boot and uh, a nice tray which I'll take because I use them. There's some other um, hard plastic boxes in there, very handy because I can put my little treasures in there. Look, we will look through this bag in a minute. But yeah, they throw out these nice boxes. There's two of them, perfect for in the garage, organising anything, bits of scrap or just storage. Also we've got, we've got like this storage box, yeah, it's a bit worn, a bit dirty. Um, I might need to get my grabber out, there's a roll of wallpaper I can see there which I'll want, oh there's two rolls actually, there's a big duffel bag thing. It's an umbrella, let me go around the other side. There's this thing. Pillow for your legs. Leg razor. I'm not too keen on taking stuff like that because it's second hand, but let me know what you think. There's this duffel bag. Big pillow. No tags, don't know what it is. Some garden hose reel. Some Christmas baubles. I don't think the bag's anything too special. But, uh, it'll go at car boot. So I will save the bag. Training pads, don't need them. Let's get my grabber out, guys. Essential dumpster diving tool. baby cot or something. I could take that for scrap if I wanted to. Um, let's move these bits out of the way. Let's remove this wallpaper. One. Sometimes you can get wallpaper that's worth something. Um, I'm not sure, I can't remember the makes off the top of my head. But if not, then I tend to use it as void for. What's this? Rash. 
it's German or something. Easy to hang, looks great, easy to remove, paste the wall. Oh, so it's like reusable. Paste the wall coverings, hmm. Interesting, but that's nice. Um, I think that's everything from the bottom there. Just some bits of rubbish in the bottom, so we'll take a look in the back. There's not as much in here because it only got emptied probably Tuesday. But I like to check now and again. Little camera case, again, car boot, perfect, pound. Travel pillow. Don't know. Extension lead. That's handy. Take that. Uh, so that is some hangers. General rubbish. I do normally wear gloves, guys. Because um, I'm recording, it's just easier on my phone. And I keep sanitizer in my car, so don't you worry about that. I don't know whether to take this. I might take it, you know, and just put it on Facebook. Even if I offer it for free, it's getting used. I'm not all about making money, helping people out as well. With it being sort of like a medical thing, someone struggling with their legs. I'll take that and it might help someone out. So I think that will do us in here. So that's the only only bin in this area really. There is um, this recycling one. Like some, sometimes some decent boxes like that one. That one. A few decent boxes there for hosting. Move some bits about, put them in there. And that's it for this location. A few little gems there. Um, mostly little car boot fodder bits, 50p a pound a piece, but you never know. We might have something special. We'll head to the next one. And don't forget, I'm not using gloves. Quick rub of the sanitizer, like I say, I normally do. Um, but for purposes of filming and whatnot, I'm just going to be careful and clean my hands afterwards. I'm gloved up this time. This one's very full for midweek. Get rid of a few bits. That would have been a good tripod, but it's broke. That's no good. Nice bracket. Into kids' toys. Little takes. Take that. the car boot that's cute a wicker basket thing make out toy with no box there is a lot in there Bit of a better look. Oh, that's a nice lump. There's a 
couple of like brass lump kind of things in there. This is one, like a desk lump. And there's another big one, I'm just wondering whether I should take it for scrap or whether it's not worth it. That I do not know. Not quite a heavy base. I'll take it if it works. It can always go on Facebook Marketplace as well. Okay, got a bit of space to deal with now. Teddies. Always lots of teddies in here. Vintage Fisher Price like farmyard thing. Yeah, because I think it's got some age to it. I'll take it. Boots getting full already. Another bag. We'll go through. Another kid's toy thing. Again, perfect for a car boot. Don't know what that is, but it's heavy. That's a roll of wallpaper. Something very heavy in here. Things you can ride your bike inside. I don't know, but it's heavy and it was listed for £10 in the shop. So I'm going to take it and research it later. Bag, rugged gear. I'm going to be able to see any deeper, so I'll start looking in what we've got in the bags. Loads of kids' toys. Oh, that's a cool little thing. Little football, old football clock. More sort of vintage. Electrical stuff. If I could take everything, I would. But I have got to be picky. People have said I don't take enough. But I've still got to store it as well. But if I can make use of some of it again, then saving it from getting chucked out. What have we got in here? Oh, that doll's all bust open. Bean bag. And bins. Nothing in this one. These bits back, they're no good for me. Got two more lucky dip bags here. And what have we got in here? Tablecloth, bath mat. Old 70s 
buscando... Again, nothing, just bags and rubbish. Mosquito insect repellent bands. Hmm. I'll take them once. And the last bag, guys, for this spot. Oh, that's cute. We've got a Pikachu. Can't chuck him out. Oh, and one of them Bing. Is it Bing? Bears, they're cute. We'll save them. Oh, we've got a Hamley's dinosaur. And a little Tykes parrot. They're cute, we'll take them too. I think that'll do for this one guys, till Sunday. We're just going to have a quick look in this skip that I've spotted. Seems to be some electrical pieces, a couple of pallets on the top, bubble wrap, roller cable there. I will take that for scrap. Uh, I've been to this one before and yeah, it doesn't look like they've added much to it. This cable wasn't there before. But uh, the pallets were, so other little bits. But yeah, don't think there's much else. I think I had nabbed everything already. So that will do guys, just a bit of cable, but all adds up. Okay guys, not sure if we've got anything here today. Oh, we have. Oh nice, we've got a couple of boxes. I take because they're good boxes for posting orders. We have got a nice replacement seat there, which tends to be the most common item I get from this place. Uh, never seems to be anything wrong with them. No nope. replacement mobility scooter seat. that up. A few cardboard boxes. Take them. Got something like a bed or a sofa broken down. Fluorescent tube. Stack of cardboard. Another box. That is. Another seat. Sorry guys, I know you can't always see the best. Um it's another seat but it looks a bit worse for wear and it's difficult to get out so I'll leave that one. Shut this back up, make sure we're not made a mess. Happy days. A few cardboard boxes and another replacement seat. Which they go for about 30, 35 pounds once they're cleaned up. Happy days. And the next stop is the bathroom place. So empty packaging. Got a toilet there. It's probably cracked. 
great big bath uh, shower panel that's cracked. The other side of the skip is locked now, so I can't get in there. So it's whatever I can reach in here. There's something in this box. Nothing jumping out to me from what I can reach from this end. Toilet and some used parts and things. Sometimes you get brand new parts. Uh, but not on this occasion, guys. 